and uh, to our open mic. He's from Orlando, and uh, he's a veteran of, uh, of comedy, and so we're stoked to offer him a spot tonight. Um, give it up for Jeff Barrett. <laughs> Jeff Barrett. <laughs> Alright, I am from Orlando. I uh, drove here actually from California. I was living there for a couple of years. Found out uh, you guys have strict DUI laws here. <laughs> Fuck. 45 days mandatory in tent city, first time offense. Shit! When I got to the fucking Arizona border, I bleached my fucking throat out with Clorox and had a blood transfusion. Just on the safe side. Next year, Sheriff Joe's gonna start doing liver biopsies. <laughs> Do you know it's kind of fucked up? California man, they drink like fucking crazy and drive. Woo! Yeah, he fit right in, toots. <laughs> you and your boot. And, uh, celebrities, man, you can see them getting pulled over left and right. And I can never understand it why all these Hollywood celebrities are getting DUIs. First of all, you make so much money, you can afford a fucking driver, right? If you want to go out and party, get somebody to drive your drunk ass around. Yeah. Second of all, you're an actor. Act sober when you get pulled over, asshole. Learn to take your work home with you. Here, here. So, we got lots of women here. It's like mammogram night. God. I am offering to do manual mammograms right after the show. Just because I know how fucking brutal it is for you women. I can't believe in this day and age we have the richest healthcare in the fucking world and they still give you guys breast exams by smashing your titties. Don't they? Isn't that how they still do it? They just smash your titties. That's bullshit. Because I'm telling you, man, if guys had to go to... Dude, can you imagine if you had to go for a mammogram? <laughs> And you walked into the fucking nurse, this big burly nurse, and she said, Sir, we want you to put your testicles up on this cold, hard slab. Oh, we're gonna flatten them out as much as possible. So we can get a good picture of those little puppies. See what's going on down there. Oh, you're gonna feel a pinch or two. Well, suck it up, you big pussy. There's a big box of Kleenex on the stool next to you. Bet your ass if some executive had to go through this shit, some big corporate type, there'd be some new technology on the market the next day for guys. Some kind of thermal imaging. It came in a hand crane. The guys could just lather on themselves and email their x-rays to the doctor's iPhone. Called Doppler dick cream. Not covered by cocaine. Yeah, so, uh... We're losing a war on drugs in this country, folks. It's pretty evident. The enemy is building bunkers in every street corner in America, called CVS and Walgreens. <laughs> You're gonna have to get your lazy ass out of the car, man. You just go through that little drive through window they got, get your little Anna Nicole starter kit, get your little Heath Ledger starter kit, Michael Jackson, insert fucking dead celebrity here. It's the only way you hear about the overdoses of drugs, right? When some celebrity dies from it. Over 100,000 people per year die from overdoses of pharmaceutical drugs. The side effects, not even an overdose. Side effects. 100,000 people per year. Yet they rake in billions and billions of dollars and spend millions on advertising on TV, shoving it down our throat. Yet have you ever heard once of all this profit that they make that they've ever cured one fucking disease? Not one. I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson, we can't do shit about your diabetes. But we can make your penis hard enough to carve an ice sculpture. <laughs> Look, a butterfly. Lynesta. Yeah. Sleep so fucking good tonight. Drug companies. They're everywhere in every fucking street corner in America. It's amazing. And they sell junk food. Junk food and cigarettes to boot. Cigarettes. Shit, they should be selling medicinal marijuana. I know you guys got that legal here too, don't you? Right. That's pretty fucking wild, man. That's awesome. Can you imagine if you drove up that little drive through window at CVS? How you doing, baby? <laughs> yeah, give you an ounce of purple haze and hit the snack aisle while you're at it. No side effects on this fucking bag, bitch. Snack time and nap time. That'd be about it. Walgreens become all greens. 
You know, I call them green, baby. It's all about green. It's marijuana, it's not a fucking drug. It's an herb. It grows out in fucking woods for Pete's sake. What if those bastards quit cutting that shit down? <laughs> Costing some of us a hundred bucks a week. It's bullshit. They try to say if you smoke marijuana in this country, you're supporting terrorists. Isn't that ridiculous? I'm not supporting terrorists. I support my neighbor Dave. <laughs> He's a farmer. <laughs> It's hard work being a farmer. Gets up at the crack of noon, <laughs> searching for Animal Planet. Or <laughs> Cigarettes, on the other hand, man, Marlboro is the most popular. Marlboro has over a thousand additives and chemicals in it. Yeah, one of the additives is the one that keeps it burning. How many cigarette smokers you got here by class? Cigarette smokers? Yeah, I know you guys are dying off. Had to put your cigarette down first, didn't you, folks? <laughs> now you can attest to this. Anybody that lights up a cigarette, you put it in the ashtray. If you went out and used your cell phone, came back, <laughs> smoldering butt. You don't give a shit. You got a little fucking carton sitting there. The one downside this added is the fact that it causes about 1,500 deaths per year if somebody fell asleep in bed or in a couch with a lit cigarette in their hand. 15,000 deaths. That's without even inhaling the product. Tell you what, there's not one case in this country where somebody burned down a trailer park or a dorm room because they fell asleep with a joint in their hand. <laughs> it's impossible, folks. What happens if you quit smoking a joint? It goes out. Why? Because pot's your friend, that's why. It's not going to burn down a house to foods in the house. God didn't breed no stupid herb. You take a nap, it takes a nap. You wake up and trade your way. Come on, fucker, we got brownies. Let's go. You guys are a lot of fun. My name's Jeff Brick. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting me. Jeff Barrett, everybody.